it's time for uh, what's inside the latest Game Informer issue. This is um, number 16 in this series, and the issue of this magazine is 329 with Kina, Bridge of Spirits, on the cover. I'm Auckland. If you enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button, like button also. Share with your friends if you don't mind. Also, please comment, ask me a question, or comment in general. I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you don't mind, hit the notification bell down below, and you will be notified when I go live or upload another video. And if you want to subscribe to my channel and become a fan, then that's what you need to do is subscribe, and you will become a fan of me, Auckland. All right, here we go, Kina. Bridge of Spirits, really looking forward to playing this game. When? I don't know. And I think last time I heard that it's supposed to come out sometime this year of 2021. It was supposed to come out last year, but it didn't. Alright, inside the magazine now, remember to some advertisements. There's Kina on the right, and showing off some screenshots of other things on the left and of course you got Crash Bandicoot uh, it's about 4 it, Crash Bandicoot 4 it's about time right there looking forward to being able to play that as soon as I possibly can and of course uh, Ellie from uh, Last of Us Part 2 I'm planning to play in that I plan on playing that also when that's another question now, this is the index with us also a silly picture of Skittles. Um, I'm going to name off some of the games from the index. I'm not going to name off all of them because it's a whole lot. Animal Crossing, Apex Legends, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, um, Axiom Verge, Battletoads, Beat Saber, Bloodborne, Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops Cold War, Cold War, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, Dead Cells, Death Stranding, Doom Eternal, uh, let's see, Fall Guys, Ultimate Knockout, Final Fantasy 7, Fire Emblem Three Houses, Ghost of Tsushima, Hello Neighbor 2, Kina Bridge of Spirits, uh, Let's see, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, Red Dead Redemption 2, Resident Evil 2 Remake, Shin Megami Tensei 5, Sonic Mania, Spider-Man, Tim Tim, Super Hot, Uncharted 4, Thief's End, and a lot more. Okay, let's go deeper into the magazine now some more advertisements um, right there that control at the bottom which can be playable on switch which is pretty cool next page some more advertisements there's a picture of I don't remember what her character's name is from Horizon but that's a screenshot from Horizon 2 Forbidden West and also on this page right here is normally it's the top five uh, fan art, but this time it's only four. The first one is from Borderlands. That's the number one, the winner. Number two looks like Calamari de Masi. Uh, the third one looks like some Mario characters and also Pikachu. I see some Shy Guys. I see Yoshi. I see Pikachu wearing a Shy Guy mask. And the fourth one is the game Gris. It's a character from the game Gris. Fan art is always so awesome. Games of the Generation, their top tier the games like uh, Last of Us Part 2 
Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, Zelda, Breath of the Wild, God of War 4, or just God of War. But it is the fourth installment, though. Also, Nathan, Nathan Drake from Uncharted 4. Fantastic series. Love that series. And so many other games on here. Bloodborne and Resident Evil 2 Remake and Monster Hunter World and Control and Spider-Man and all those good titles. And of course you can't forget about Cuphead. Which is, last time I read, I think we're supposed to get a physical copy on Switch at some point in time after the DLC gets released. That's going to be very exciting when that happens. I'm holding off from getting it until then. Um, let's see. I guess it's still the top tier games, I, believe, I think. It's Horizon Zero Dawn, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Overwatch, uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2, Sonic Mania, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, Super Mario Odyssey, Ghost of Tsushima, No Man's Sky, Bloodborne, World of Warcraft, Outer Worlds, Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, Death Stranding, tons of games. Uh, now, this section is disarmingly cute video game enemies. I recognize a few of them, but not so, but not too many though. Now that's a Pokemon right there. And I know that's um, a Goomba. Not sure about the others. Oh yeah, and that's a Prinny. From uh, the uh, can't remember the series right now. It starts with a D. It's on Switch. Disgaea. Uh, Sly as a fox. Uh, I believe. Yeah, he's the creator of. Seems like Insomniac. Talking about Ratchet and Clank. Do you guys ever have a desire to go back to any of those old mascot games like Sly Cooper? I would certainly love to make another Sly Cooper game. I miss these characters. You know what? If that happens for real, I would so love that. So I hope that happens. So I guess he's either the head guy or part of the crew that makes those games. Um, Thriving Homestead um, is for Stardew Valley. Alright, let's keep going, keep going. Alright, this section is for merchandise that you can buy, action figures, all kinds of stuff like that. It has the websites and the prices of how much they all cost. Also, Funko Pops and all that good stuff. I'm not into Funko Pops, but I know they're very popular. Uh, now here is uh, Kena Bridge of Spirits. It's coming out to PS5 and PS4 and PC. Releasing Holiday, which it did not come out. Very excited about this game. It's kind of like basically Zelda cross with or mashed up with Pikmin. I love the art style. No. The art star doesn't particularly look like this, but if you've seen gameplay of it, and that's actually what it looks like. But in the magazine, they have it like that. But this game looks beautiful. It looks amazing. Up my alley type of game that I would love to play. But, uh, yeah, those, those cute little fuzzy creatures. Follow you around like Pikmin. I think you can also control them. All right, hidden history. Let's be talking about war games. Yes, it looks like spy games and stuff like that. Uh, am I 
must be a title of a game. Oh, it's for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Okay. Which came out on PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, Xbox One, and PC on launch day, which is November 13th. There's some screenshots, too. And, of course, an advertisement for Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. And some screenshots. Alright, now we're to the games uh, being advertised. Outriders, which came out on PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Holiday, so I'd imagine it's probably out by now, I'd imagine. Uh, next is Grifflands for PC for 2021. It may already be out, or it may not be, I'm not sure. Gotham Knights. Um, very excited about that game. It looks like it might be in the set of the world of the, is it the Rocksteady? Uh, what's, what's the company that produced the, um, the Gotham Batman games, the, the, the Arkham games? I can't remember the company right now, but though this game right here looks like it might be set in that universe you play as I don't think it's necessarily Robin but it's a character like Robin it's coming out for PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, Xbox One and PC for 2021 I'm looking forward to learning some more information about it Ghostwire Tokyo coming out for PS5 and PC in 2021 I don't think that game is out just yet uh, Ease uh, 9, it looks like. It's got a subtitle for PS4, Switch, and PC. February 2nd for PS4 and, and summer 2021 for Switch and PC. I know that series is loved by fans a lot. Blight, Blight, Blot, Bond for PC, TBA, so no release date for that one. NFL 21, PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Um, October 9th, PS4, Xbox One, and PC, and TBA for PS5 and Xbox Series X. And next is NHL 21 for PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, Xbox One for October 16th for PS4, Xbox One, and TBA for PS5 and Xbox Series X. Next is a game I cannot pronounce, but it's for PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, Xbox One, and PC for 2022. So it's going to be a little while for that game. Uh, is the next game XO or X1 or I don't know. That game right there. It's releasing for Xbox Series X and PC Holiday. And I'm not sure if that's out yet or not. Possibility. And advertisements for physical copies of games for looks like for Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. Uh, some, looks like some stuff I may be interested in getting at some point in time. Alright, next is some advertising of games, I guess, coming out. New World, Shimigami Tensei 5, Haven, Dragon Quest. 9, no Dragon Quest 11, that one's already out, uh, Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge, okay, and Planet Coaster Console Edition, Tim Tim, which is coming to consoles, Torchlight 3, Rogue Book, Rogue Book, Hello Neighbor 2, and Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Okay. You know, of course, we're going to advertisement for Fall Guys. Um, I know Season 3 came out um, back in December of last year. Um, now, time for the games to be ranked. 
Wasteland 3 got an 8.5 for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Uh, Madden NFL 21 got a 7.75 for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout got an 8.75 for PS4 and PC. Spirit Fair got an 8 for PS4, Xbox One, Switch, Stadia, and PC. PGA Tour 2K21 got an 8 for PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. Tell me why. Why not? I don't know. Uh, it's got a 7.75 for Xbox One and PC. Uh, UFC 4 got an 8.5 for PS4 and Xbox One. And then some other games right here on this page. Uh, Panzer Paladin, Hyper Escape, Super Hot Mind Control, Delete, and another game I cannot pronounce with their rankings right there. And Alienated. I don't know, it must be, it says a game industry being advertised, I guess. And that's the end of the magazine. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Alright, thanks so much. Alright, bye.